Just the other day, a little birdie tell me, say, you are come around my way. Yeah. Me and I go wait another day now. Cause in my mind, we are come a long way. This video needs no introduction but a simple narration with the credible information. Hi guys, my name is Remote and you're welcome to Boxing Blocks and the home of Nigerian African Boxing. There is a popular Nigerian uh, parable that states, that states, who no go, no no. It's a very deep, deep parabolic phrase. Uh, for those of you who live in England, uh, you cannot understand that except you're a Nigerian born in Niger, grew up in a Nigerian household. Now, let's get straight to it. The unified everywhere king of the universe, Anthony Joshua, of course, recently placed a huge financial backing, okay? A huge financial backing to amateur national boxing federations of england wales and scotland joshua did that because he knows that without grassroots boxing boxing will probably die out in the uk because the uk government of course did not include boxing in their 300 million pounds relief fund all the sports were kind of included but boxing, who of course has put the UK in the map with the help of Anthony Joshua, who of course brought back British boxing, you know. Now, uh, Joshua did that, you know, Joshua is a, a genuinely good person. Say whatever you want about Joshua, but Joshua is a humanitarian. He thinks first about the human race, you know what I mean, how we can better ourselves, how we can evolve as human beings. Looking at his background and where he came from, you would not expect a guy of yesterday to say to do something like that. But because Joshua knows the struggle, you know, the youth in the UK are going through the people who are trying to es escape the crime life because the UK the knife crime is very very huge out there big. It's like in the US where you have people shooting each other anyhow. You know, you in the US you have the gun violence, in the UK you have the knife, you know, violence different case yeah in germany nothing like that thank god you know what i mean I mean we're doing a very peaceful life here so i hope it continues that way now uh joshua of course pledged a huge financial backing to the nations federations of england scotland and wales and a lot of the couch potatoes <laughs> I call them couch potatoes. You can call them far right, you know, um, sympathizers. Um, I don't want to use the R word, you know. I mean, if I use the R word, I'm just feeling might get a, you know, a strike or something like that. So I don't want to get to that. Get that but, but the people, haters, you know, came all gone blazing for Joshua. One said, uh, I think this Aldo's cousin, he said, Remember his BLM, remember his speech about BLM? And the other one said, uh, Sean Millard says, Man them, trying to get fans back, bro. This guy is basically impersonating, you know, um, a black British uh, slang in a way, you know, uh, Jamaican, original Jamaican way. And then you, <laughs> like, they, they like, you know, that, that, that kind of, uh, uh, you know, uh, approach. Normally people from Jamaica, uh, British people of Jamaica background, I guess. Caribbean, let's say Caribbean, right? I normally use that word, madam, you know what I mean? Uh, and uh, Akapon re responded to the guy saying, AJ is like water. If you're one of those who can take a bell about for a year, at least you can drink it. Hate isn't good for your health, buddy. I like that. AJ is like water and water no get enemy. <laughs> <laughs> Long live the great fellow Kuti. Well, Tano getting an enemy. That's a deep 
parabolic phrase as well coming from nigeria you know that already another uk guy british guy says uh, his name is ricky kitchen says a touch of class and a pr master stroke played by team aj i usually have nothing good to say but applaud him for this that is to say this guy is not confirming himself as a pure hater of identity joshua that he has nothing good to say about joshua but he has like now he's just like okay let me give him this post for now until he make it another mistake you know what this guy like been probably a tassifier fan aaron richardson says does he know there may be multi multiracial people though well joshua coming from finchley boxing club joshua has always been around you know multiracial people people of different races different cultures and different backgrounds so i think this guy is basically throwing shade as joshua for his blm speech which i i personally support i don't know why joshua took that back it's, it looks like joshua is scared and i don't want to see that from a unified way king of the universe and i mean stand by a word Muhammad ali didn't become great because he played into the you know the couch potatoes hands that's why Muhammad Ali will, will be forever be, we be forever respected because he did not give a toss about uh couch potatoes and their opinions who should you stand like that if you want to be great like Muhammad Ali Simon H says are white boxers exempt another one that's if you're a fan Sibo Povero, that's the cause he's a troll, says why people don't matter. Couldn't care less about this man. Was a fan, will never watch him again. Of course, Dr. Uh, Joseph Ajayu responded to that statement saying that's a that's a crying shame. See these guys are using <laughs> the same hate Lewis Hamilton is kind of getting the same they're trying to give under the Joshua. But like I said, Joshua should stand, you know, man, stand, stand tall and never allowed, you know, allow himself to be bullied by these uh, couch potatoes because they can only type, but they cannot get it done. They don't get this done. Ali Ashmi, I think this is an Asian brother. He says, anyone getting upset is just a resist, pure and simple, and it's definitely right. I agree with the statement because someone is trying to change something why you who can afford to even pay your bills you know criticizing someone who is pledging thousands of pounds to help grassroots boxing amazing something the uk the british people have to very you know appreciate um, DW says the charm offensive continues trying to gain back support. Thickest spo sportsman out there. Like I said again, these are throws and couch potatoes. <laughs> like these are what you remember back in the days when people used to say Joshua was a robot. No, the first of all they came up with Joshua is 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 a media trained athlete, and then criticized everything about Joshua's you know from. His boxing skills to ever like saying he's a robot, he doesn't move his head, doesn't move his foot, he, like he has no footwork. When Joshua did that, when Joshua showed his guys that listen, I'm learning on the job, but I'm very good. They saw Joshua's footwork, you know, pull a counter and they call it boring. So no matter what Joshua does, those guys are gonna keep hating. Yod Yod Yoda and Jess um says Trying to make up for all his racial comments against white peoples. <laughs> I love the British racism, man. He's so good to see, man. Like, do you do you, can you believe that? Yeah, in Germany, I mean, I haven't really. Of course, you know, I speak German. I watch German uh, news and all those things. I just, I, I listen to it. You know what I mean? But in Germany, like, you normally see people. You see the such comments from they don't hide their identity they don't hide it that they are they don't hide their identity they they tell you listen they are who they are you know accept it you know not just accept it you know and they're very few number very few 
Why you know the British ones, the English ones, they are they are good in you know hiding it, discreeting it, you know, I mean keeping it in secret, so you don't see their face. Faceless you know accounts are mailing couch potatoes. It's just crazy. But I think the the UK needs to do better, man. They need to do better. Gary Tom Bull says young white kids will be excluded. I suspect another troll couch potato as well. Vandalize says good to see the racist UK fans still it still at it. You know, I mean, oh uh, well, <laughs> you see that someone who is not might not be from the UK. I don't know where it's from, but seems like he's you know, an, Amer an American. You know, just looking at things. You know, just observing. Sledge Armor says has to man his reputation for being a complete racist somehow. Well, looking at the Churchill, okay, Churchill profile picture, you can tell this guy is a far right, you know, a couch potato. And of course, the hour word as well, you know what I mean? The guy, you know, <laughs> I'll be mean, like, let's keep it right here. Churchill is not a role model at all. I mean, that guy murdered, you know, people in Kenya, you know, went to, you know, like Sri Lanka, he did so many stuff there. It's just crazy how. Is adored by people, but in my opinion, there is no difference between Churchill and uh, Adolf Hitler. Just a fact. So that's it, guys. You know, very interesting. You see right here. You know, love the. I cannot say they are they are, they are boxing fans. I say is is a boxing. Bo they are British citizens. You know who are hiding behind boxing and behind football. Um, I remember when one of my guy went to France. You know. During the, a Chelsea match, he was racially abused. To this day, that guy can still remember the incident. Abused by English fans, you know, from England. And it's crazy. He still can remember. He like, to this day, tell me about his first. Can't remember what it was called. It's, it's, it's crazy. A, a country as multicultural, you know, multiracial as Britain. Shouldn't be having all this couch potatoes and the hooligans and all the stuff right here, but we expect them to be more civilized in a way. But I guess you know, I mean, a good camera, you know, good environment, uh, make people think civilization, their civilization, you know, man, you know. But I like the UK though, lots of good people there as well. You know, people that voted for Lewis Hamilton, you can tell there's still very much good people there, but. The bad hacks are always are also very many, maybe twenty percent. And the the thing is that you cannot really see them because they 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 know how to hide it very well. You know, what I mean, they can just be your friend. I mean, when I got that fifteen messages from you know from rednecks, from couch potatoes and all those, stuff, I was like surprised, man. I didn't know those guys watch my channel. You know what I mean? And uh, I also saw that they they all subscribed at that time. And I laughed my ass off, man. <laughs> my God. Anyway, guys, no matter what, no matter what I'm saying, no matter what I wouldn't do, you know what I mean. Joshua remains the king of the away division, and he should stand by. Like I said, he should stand tall and keep on doing what he's doing. What he's doing, he's not just doing it for Britain. He's doing it for the for the world, for the human race. And Joshua is an example. He's a role model. You know what I mean. If you're a boxer. And you don't emulate Joshua, then you're not gonna get very far because you, you you know you have to show the world that listen we're all humans first before anything else. Joshua is not a B I G O T, you know what I mean? The guy is very responsible, been through a lot, came back from hell, and here we are. So guys, stay blessed, strong, strong, but give it to us below. As usual, I give you guys more extraordinary bangers to my dream brothers and sisters out there. I'm gonna tell you, make one of like the video. I know same <laughs> dislike on many for you. Like the video. The king remains a king. Cheers, guys.